Hi there, other John Lex here. Today I'll be showing you how I edit and enhance my landscape photographs using Adobe Photoshop. A quick thing before we start, if you find any of my videos helpful or interesting, do like them, comment on them and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That will help me a lot. Thank you in advance. Now let us start. Today we'll be working with this image right here that I took the other day. It is a good photograph but I'm going to make it look a lot more appealing. Now the first step duplicating the layer Control J. Now Control Shift A to Camera Raw Filter that is Filter Camera Raw Filter or Control Shift A. Now I'm going to change only the necessary values right here. I'm not going to change any other values. Now first thing for the landscape is the clarity. So I'm going to enter 50 here. You can go all the way to the 100 but for this image 50 will work. And the second most important thing for landscape is the highlights. Decrease the highlights all the way to the left that is a negative 100 to reveal the details in the clouds that is very important and a crucial step for editing a landscape photograph. Now you can always increase the shadows which is a good thing but for this image I have something else in mind which I will talk about in a minute. So I'm going to leave the shadows at a zero. For whites for the optimum value of whites you can just press down the alt key and move the slider to the right until you see the spot anywhere on the image. So I, I start to see the spots right here. So I'm going to leave it at uh, 47 plus 47. I'm not going to change the blacks at all. Nor the white balance or the exposure or contrast. I'm going to click OK and see the difference that I made right now. So this is the basic adjustment we did right now. And now I'm going to change the colors. Before that, I'm going to duplicate this layer once again. Go to camera filter again. To change the colors, I'm not going to use vibrance or saturation down here. I'm going to use the HSL tab in the camera filter. Now there are three sub tabs, hue, saturation and luminescence. I'm going to use the saturation tab and increase the orange and the yellows to make the uh, sunset more beautiful. Now there are a lot of aquas and blues on the uh, sky. I'm going to make that a lot more colorful as well. You can see the luminous tab. You can just make these particular colors lighter or darker. So I'm going to make the blues a bit darker. So I'm not going to slide it all the way to the left, just a bit. Now to the hue, I'm going to make the yellows a bit reddish like this, but not all the way to the left, just a bit. And I will make the blues a little more cyan. Now click OK and see what we did. So this is the change that we made right now using the HSL tab in the camera filter. Now remember the shadows part, I had something else in mind for the shadows part and that is selective color feature of Photoshop that is outside camera or filter. So to open that just click right here, select selective color and drop down box, select blacks and for this image I am going to enter the value negative 8 so you can see what change it made to our image. The yellow part I am going to enter 2, okay, magenta 2. In the cyan part, negative 2. I'm going to close the selective tab and see the difference it made to the picture, right? It took care of the shadows part and I think it's a subtle move so that is why I did it. Now let us give our image some final touches. Going to the camera or filter again. This time we are using the FX tab right here and using the dehaze tool. In the amount, enter the value. For this image, I'm going to enter 20. You can see the change it made, dehazing property. You can always go for higher values like 50 and see the difference it makes. But for this image, I guess it's 20, it's enough. And also post crop vignetting. I'm going to enter minus 20 right here and feather instead of 50, 100. Alright, I hope you found this tutorial helpful and learned something new worthwhile. If you did, please show support to my new YouTube channel. I'll see you next time. Take care and goodbye.